What is good everybody? Hope you're all having a great day. Welcome to another episode of Jaybird TV Technique. Today I'm talking about the scale of route reading, which I call climbing with your eyes. The idea of climbing with your eyes is looking over your route and thinking through how you're going to move in all of your beta on it. This is going to increase your chances of sending, on sighting, or flashing. It's also going to just increase your fundamental understanding of climbing movement too. This is a great way to implement techniques like the golden rule before you even get on the wall. Also, I can't tell you how many times I've gotten on a route and missed a hold, which you just kind of feel dumb. So it's good to look them all over and just be aware of them. So today, Ben and I are gonna play a fun game where we're gonna look at these beautiful new sets, we're gonna climb with our eyes, explain to you all what we think our beta is going to be, and then we're gonna see how accurate we are. So we could be totally right, we could be totally wrong. Let's find out. Uno is this green tag, orange hold route over here. Looks like some pretty sweet movement to me. All right, here's what I'm thinking. Start, right hand here, left hand here, both my feet on. I'm gonna move up right hand to here, get it secure in a meat hook like this. Hopefully I'll be able to move up into the undercling from there. Then I'm gonna walk my feet up, right foot here and left here. And then I'm gonna try and get my right foot all the way up to here in order to reach my right hand out, pull left off the undercling, hit this right hand crimp, left foot, here or here if it feels comfortable, and I'm gonna go up to finish left, match right. All right, let's see if it works. <laughs> That's not how you do it. YouTube, it is Rolls, the man behind the camera. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is this uh, purple V0, V1 route, just to you know get myself warmed up. Um, so obviously I'm gonna be starting right here. Uh, I'm gonna be moving my left and right feet along these chips at the bottom. Uh, and then I'm gonna go from here to probably my left out to this chip and then right out to this big hold we got right here and then from there you can move my right foot up so that way I can get my right hand up to the big jug and then slowly move my left foot up to one of these two chips right up here and get the finish so you know we'll, we'll just try it out Send it. Really simple, but you know, it's a good start. This is actually take three. Uh, I haven't been able to get the onside, obviously, but I can still send, so. So for my second route, we are back with this V2, V3 uh, black problem. Uh, so I have a good amount of uh, chips on the bottom for my feet. And then I also have two chips on, this, on the side of the wall over here um, for my feet as well. 
or even for my hands. But I'm gonna use them primarily for my feet. Um, but I just kind of plan on, obviously, I got two-handed start, two-handed start, and then I'm gonna make my way up the wall uh, using the golden rule, slowly using my right hand and my right leg together, and my left hand and my left right left leg together. Uh -huh. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna send it. <laughs> send it! Problem number two is this super fun looking green hole route right here. So there's no feet down here, which means it's gonna be a lot of smearing and or I'm gonna have to get a foot out either to here. So that's one beta I was thinking about was getting both hands on this, my right foot on that hole, and then mantling myself up and trying to do a hand foot match and stand up. I do also have this over here. So if I'm gonna be able to get enough power off this, I can actually smear Make a big dynamic move up to that, get the left hand set, and then kind of pull myself up, get my feet on, stand up, and then get my right foot out there. And it's undoubtedly a dyno after that, which just got me really stoked. Finishes up there, two big green jugs. I think my second idea, going out left first, is a little more viable, so I'm gonna give that a shot. I just gotta do it right, so. Third time's charm, final attempt. We got this. Come on. There you go. There you go. Yeah, nice. You got to trust it. Yeah. A quick note. Obviously my beta was pretty accurate, but I didn't predict having to get my left foot up there. So you're gonna have to do things on the fly, but still, climbing with your eyes is a really great way to be prepared, even though you might have those small little nuances that you don't predict. So, take two, let's go. Tricky footwork. 
Not my forte. <laughs> Take three on green problem. This time it's gonna it's gonna go. <laughs> it's gonna go. This time. Well, let's get one to work on. <laughs> hey, right. thanks for watching everybody. I hope you learned something today. It really is great to read with your eyes, climb with your eyes, and think through your beta. We didn't have the best example no. because we didn't flash everything, but know, that was a lot of fun, honestly. No. These are some really cool sets. It's just, it's just a good challenge for, for yourself because uh, you're not trial and error, but you're more, I'm going to get this on the first attempt. And you're trialing and erroring through your head. Kind of, that's a weird way of saying it, but... Totally. No, it definitely is trial and error. Also, falling is 98% of climbing, so we're doing really good at that, which is most of climbing. Anyways, <laughs> stay posted. We're going to have lots more techniques, strength training, bouldering, etc. If you want to see more of me, more of this guy, uh, more of any other fantastic climbers here, make sure well, to like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know. And as always, train hard, climb harder, and uh, have a great... Day. I shouldn't have sworn. We can bleep it out. <laughs> <laughs>